you know so i've been realizing that i've been more emotional recently than what i used to be and um i kind of thought that i should tune back in with the concept of stoicism again so i've been listening to some stoicism shit and yeah you know to be honest like if i was to go homeless right now like it wouldn't really affect me as much as it as it as it would have in the past obviously it would suck but i wouldn't be um like i wouldn't like let it affect me as much as it as it would in the past basically i, I just have to deal with this shit so if i was to get kicked out today hey get out don't come back here i said all right I wouldn't beg or plead. Oh, no, no. I just say, fuck it. It is what it is, man. Because one thing about being homeless, even though it sucks, at least you're free. You don't got to worry about abiding by, I mean, still rules, obviously, but, you know, um, basically like uh you you know you don't have to worry about the fear of being kicked out basically and i'll know in the back of my mind that it's only a temporary situation i'm like okay yeah this sucks but hey it is what it is and it's crazy because when you know when i see these homeless people out here Holding, holding up signs asking for money. You see, when these people were kids, they didn't realize that they was going to be homeless. When these people were kids, they didn't know that they was going to grow up and hit about 30, 40 and be homeless on the street. They didn't, they didn't know that. You know, life is unpredictable and it is what it is, man. You just have to embrace the fact that life is unpredictable and that you don't know what's going to happen day by day. And I, I fully embrace the uncertainty of life, the uncertainty of existence. You know, people say, oh, jobs, go get a job. Jobs are more secure. A job isn't secure. Having your own business, you're not secure. In the day, the person you work for is an entrepreneur. And if something happens to their money, they're gonna fire you. Say, hey, you know, we're losing money and we can't afford to pay you. They're gonna they're gonna let you go. You get in your own business, that's unsecure. But you wanna, just like Jordan Green said, that's why I shared this video. He said, you know what? He said, even though having your own business is, is, in, is not secure, I'd rather have that freedom than to uh, be enslaved by another person. Now, ultimately, it's a lot of truck going to come and, and, and mess up my audio. Here it comes. But basically, even if you work for yourself, you're still a slave. It's just you're, it's just you're less of a slave. You know, you're, you're less of a slave because you're still a slave to your body and you're still a slave to money. But you're less of a slave than a nine to five worker. Depending on the business you have. Right. So I will always rather work for myself. And that's why I'm finna go all in trying to create my own business and trying to escape the rat race and i really just you know i'm actually glad that i tapped back into stoicism because i really don't give a fuck about shit no more man it is what it is man i'm not finna fucking you know you know i'm not, i'm just done with this shit man <laughs> tired of working i'm tired of living with people tired of being told what to do you know, if if me being homeless 
gets me closer to my goal, it is what it is, man. Not saying that I'm homeless right now, and not saying I want to be homeless, but I'm just saying. I just don't give a fuck. I'm not finna sit up here and live with somebody and walk on eggshells and, you know, I'm not doing that shit no more, man. It is what it is. I'm not doing that shit. I just got to deal with the, whatever happens. But that's all I got to say. I'm out.